Hello and welcome to today's head-to-head, -head, a boot comparison head-to-head -head over the 12 rounds. Uh, 12 rounds of different sections followed by the actual scoring of each round. It'll either be 10 for the winner of the round or 9 for the loser of the round. So a lot of the rounds will be 10-10 or 10-9. If there's a significant difference between the two boots in any area, it'll be a 10-8 or a 10-7. So let's start off. Round 1, Brand. When it comes to brand, you've got Nike against Adidas. I mean, Nike and Adidas have been going at it for years and years, but I have to say, I do think that Nike still is the bigger, uh, more trendy brand out of the two. So, 10 points to Nike and 9 points to the Adidas. Then, round two, we come on to toe. And as you can see there, there is the Nike Hyper KO toe, and there is the Adidas Adipower toe as well. Now one thing I will say is uh, I've seen boots Nike Hypercar where that sort of the sole comes away where, where people have dragged their feet. It hasn't happened to me but I have seen some examples where that's had to be glued back on. Also you do get some scuffing around here and the marks don't seem to be able to come out of that. Some of them do you can you can sort of buff them out but some of them actually almost get ingrained into that material there and that, obviously that affects the look of the boot. With the Adidas one, uh, you have got that little lip, which means that obviously there's less chance of that sole coming off at that particular point, so I think it's less of a weak point. You've got some suede around there, and then you've got the material. So this round, it's a 10 to the Adidas, and it's a 9 to Nike. Now, when it comes to the sole, on the sole on the Adidas, there it is. It is a really nice sole. I do like that. Let's just go all the way around so you can see that. Uh, and that is an excellent sole, very, very functional, and you've got that sort of play there as well, which you need in the boxing boot. When it comes to the sole of the actual Nike Hyper KO, again, very functional, like how it sort of cur curls around there, and then at the back, I like how it comes up at the back for the, for the heel, and then round. So as you can see, the sole on the Nike Hyper KO is good as well and for that reason I'm going to give round three the sole 10-10. Okay when it comes to round four which is the heel there's the heel of the Nike and there's the heel of the Adidas. I like how that sort of ridge comes down it's got ridges at the back of the Adidas boot I do like how that comes down and I also like the fact there's a little Adidas sign there but on the Nike I do like this material that feels a little bit stiffer at the back and I like how that, that comes from the back of the actual sole all the way up as well. Again, for the uh, heel, this one it is a close round, I have to say. But on the, on the basis that that, I think, is a little bit more supportive than just that little ridge there, I am going to give this to the Nike. So that is a 10-9 round to Nike. Outer sole, um, show you the outer soles of these boots. Uh, out of sole, sorry, not sole, I mean the side, the side of the boot. So round number five is the inside and the outside of the boot. So you can see there, and then you've got the inside there, and you've also got the inside there of the, the Nike. And I am going to give both of these 10-10 for round five, inside and outside of the boot. I think they're both really nice looking boots. In fact, the Adidas one, I think... Uh, it looks good here, but when you put it on, I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, round six, we're now on to laces and tongue. And as you can see, you've got a little boxing thing there at the bottom. Nice round laces, and it comes all the way up, so it's quite a high, high boot. Then you've got that Adidas there, which has got um, Adi Power in like a see-through red, which is there. So that is the nice, nice, nice uh, Adidas one. On the Nike one, this here, which is great for sort of tightening the boot a little bit more around sort of the width of the boot. Then you've got the laces going up, and then you've got this really nice um, piece at the top, which is to say it is a Hyper KO boot. Um, and on the back of there, it does say just do it as well, which is obviously Nike's strap line has been for many years. So, in terms of the laces and the tongue, I am going to give this on the basis of that strap, really, because I do think it's an excellent feature. Uh, I'm going to give it 10 points to the Nike, and I'm going to give it 9 points to Adidas. 
ankle support, this goes to Adidas. Um, the fact that it's a taller boot, these ridges as well are really good, a great feature of this boot. Uh, and then on the uh, Nike Hyper KO, you have got sort of good support, these fly wire which are there, but I just don't think that it is offering the same level of protection for the ankle because this boot, as you can see, is, is, a, is, a, taller, is a taller boot. So it's going further up the leg. So in terms of ankle support, 10 points to the Adipower and 9 points to the Nike. Then we're on to round 8, quality and durability. Uh, both of these uh, boots, they do the job very, very well. And, you know, there's areas on both boots where there's a little bit of wear and tear that you see. I've pointed out about this this bit here. Um, also on this particular boot there's a little bit of a bulge as you can see that's appeared on the bottom of the sole which is I've never really seen that before. It's okay when you um, when you're actually in the ring uh, it flattens out but once you stop using it it starts to bulge up again. That's the only time I've ever seen that and I don't know why that's been happening on this boot um, but again just a little bit of a, a thing to know that what can happen. As I say the People glue that there when it gets caught, if it, if it comes away. The, the weakest part of this boot, I think, is, is sort of here. Uh, there seems to be, certainly, perhaps that's a part of the foot that uh, receives a lot of pressure, but the, can't, the actual material starts to fray a little bit there. So again, I would say that, yeah, both boots have got weak points, but in terms of how much I've used them, I've used them both loads, so you know I have to give them 10 10 for quality and durability in round eight. Round nine, comfort again, both very comfortable uh, boots in my opinion, and that's a 10 10 round. When it comes to style, I would always think that I would go with the Nike Hyper KO, and I love it in the red and the white. I think it's a great looking boot, but as I say, when you put these on, they actually look really, really nice. Um, I like them in the black and the red, where they're black and then red there, but I think they're superb in the red with the white. And, you know, people like uh, Anthony Joshua have wore these in the ring, and they do look really, really smart boots. So in terms of style, we've got a 10-10 round, and then we're just on to round 11. And round 11 is performance. Again, I've done many, many rounds in this boot. I've done many, many rounds in this boot. And I have to say, when it comes to performance, Again, too close to call, 10-10. Round 12, the last round, value for money. This boot is going to cost you about £150. And this boot is going to cost you about £160. People might say that's expensive for boots, but when you use them, and you only use them in the ring, these will last you for years. Um, the time, like with any boxing boot, as I've said in previous videos, if you start to use them outside, running around and doing your, your running in them or in the gym you're running around in them you know of course the soles are going to wear out because they're not designed they're not designed to be running around on concrete they're designed to be you know dancing around on canvas and that's what I do in mine so on that basis the fact that I've used them both extensively value for money at the price that they are considering how long they last and, and what performance you get I think they're both deserving of a 10-10. So we've gone through all of the 12 rounds, covered every single aspect of these boots. And at the end of that, we're coming out with a decision. And the decision is this. Nike Hyper KO, 118 points. The Adidas Adipower, 117 points. So today's winner is the Nike Hyper KO, by one point, it was a really close contest. And I have to say that either of these boots, if you're looking for a top quality boot to use, either of these boots are great. So it's just a matter of down to personal preference in the end. I could only split them by one point over 12 rounds. You may have it differently. But I have to say, that's no disrespect to the uh, Adidas Adipower. In fact, the fact that it's run the Nike Hyper KO so close when you know I love these boots I think they're ace um, and the fact that these boots have run these boots so close is testament to how good the Adidas Adipower are. 
Um, so there you go, 118-117, Nike Hyper KO wins over the Adidas Adipower. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I enjoy doing these. I'm going to bring you plenty more. There's loads and loads of different ones that I've got in my head to do. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends down the gym uh, about it. Get them having a look. And uh, hopefully they can enjoy the videos and you do too. So uh, have a great day and I shall speak to you soon.